The University of Massachusetts Amherst is the flagship campus of the state's five-campus university system. With 69,000 students yearly, the university is the largest in New England and is evolving both physically and academically. I'm Nathan O'Leary for Comcast Newsmakers at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and Chancellor of this campus here in the Pioneer Valley, Kumbal Subhaswamy, joins me. And Chancellor, welcome to the program. Thank you. You just recently completed your first year as Chancellor. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Uh, what interested you in coming to UMass, and you know, what impressed you in your first year? Uh, you know, it's the flagship campus of the education state of the United States. So what is there not to be interested when you're in the field of higher education? Uh, UMass Amherst has a, a sterling reputation nationally, and so when this opportunity came at a critical time in higher education in this country, I jumped at it. And when you look at UMass Amherst, what, what role do you see as it playing in the economic future of public education in the state? You know, this is the era of knowledge economy, and as uh, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts has looked at its economic future, uh, it not only looks at the traditional fields such as, you know, the financial, uh, uh, financial business and so forth, it also has identified life sciences and um, information technology, cybersecurity, and several of those kinds of sectors as growth areas of high-tech sectors for the future. And as a major research university, and especially located in the western part of uh, Massachusetts, we have a major role to play in, bring, in, in developing and growing uh, this new sector of the economy and bringing it to western Massachusetts. And actually, speaking of life sciences, the uh, center, you were recently provided by Governor Patrick a $100 million grant. Correct. Can you talk about how that's going to change things? Sure. I mean, again, as I said, um, you know, the Commonwealth is making uh, sig significant investments in growing that sector of the right. economy. And uh, rightly, the governor and the legislature uh, have decided that we need to bring some part of that growth to the Western Massachusetts area as well. And there is no anchor better than UMass Amherst in terms of its significant research in life sciences already and the infrastructure we've already built. So the money that's being invested by the state will allow us to create three new centers to work very closely with industry, both uh, on the eastern side of the state, but also more importantly, uh, in, in working with industry in the western part of the state to grow the uh, life sciences sector of the economy. When you talk about UMass students, what, what makes UMass so appealing for them to come from not just around Massachusetts but all over the country? Sure. You know, we live in a very complex world and uh, so the four years are three, three and a half or five depending on the you know, person's uh, educational background and preparation are very critical in defining what that individual will be, how flexible that individual will be, how world ready that individual will be as they graduate. And I think UMass Amherst over 150 years of history has developed into a wonderful institution where both the in-class, out-of-class and peer-to-peer -peer education is without par. And so that reputation is growing and it's a great bargain because I mean, you know, Massachusetts has some tremendous uh, private institutions, but if you look at the cost and then if you look at the quality of the education that you can get at UMass Amherst, uh, there is no comparison. I think that word is uh, now you know, widely spread and so we see a huge increase in the number of applications as well as the quality of students who are coming to UMass Amherst. Can you tell us about the new Residential Honors College and how that's going to change things for UMass students and families? It's almost like creating a small liberal arts college within the larger public university. So they will not only learn from each other in terms of a very challenging climate, but they'll also live with uh, students of the similar caliber. It's going to be very interesting. Indeed. Well, thank you very much, Kumbal Subhaswamy. You are the Chancellor of UMass Amherst. Welcome and congratulations on completing your first year and good luck for the future. Thank you for joining Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Nathan O'Leary.